this is Swedish fika coffee, something to eat, and then you sit, and some friends who are not here. We have cats. Are you here? You want to fika? Oh yes, my fika buddy. Sweden, India, crystal growth and manufacturing. Today, there's, um, it's very difficult to find experts in crystal growth who have many years of experience in six inch or four inch, or sorry, eight inch silicon carbide, and have been in industrial environment. Uh, those are already recruited and it's difficult to find them, which means that we should educate the new crystal growers and manufacturing experts. And this we can do because there are several manufacturing being established and planned, so this is certainly needed. And the case with India, and then we have the Make in India, the India Semiconductor Mission, there are silicon carbide activities, and if we can boost them by supporting with manufacturing and crystal growth experience, then this is just good for India. And this is also good for Sweden, because we want to partnership. In Sweden, we started with silicon carbide growth in 1990s. There was a big program about the CVD, epitaxy, and also the PVT growth and other methods. Uh, and that established a nice platform. And we tried to understand the new things about the silicon carbide growth. And we had many defects, micropipes, uh, the polytypes were not stabilized, etc. Uh, so that was a nice time from research point of view. But also we had available people doing the equipment. So then we worked together how to modify the equipment and, and um, so we could continue the research and the company Epigress, they were the first ones, they rebuilt an MOCVD uh, and that was used for silicon carbide epitaxy and then there was the first prototype of a PVT reactor. It's a very small reactor and we have, have used it many years to explore new things. <coughs> And then another PVT reactor, which was the SB50 Sublimer by Epigress, and that was later uh, offered as SB100 Sublimer by the Epigress. And then Epigress was acquired by Eikstrom, and things happened, and other things happened. And the people working with these things, they went out for a while, and they came back, made a new company, another company. New people came in, so there's still a lot of equipment expertise in Sweden about silicon carbide and especially the new things, the innovative things, there we still have a lot of nice activities but we don't have a big manufacturing activity and that will most likely not happen but we can partnership and feed in much of our knowledge which we have in those areas and if we are smart, which I hope and then we can also try to uh, align and link with roadmaps for the future. Today, there's a lot of manufacturing established. You have many in China. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was contacted by a new Chinese manufacturing establishment, which is planned. They plan 40,000 wafers per year. Uh, lots and lots of area. Investment, 1 billion euro in that range. This means that over time, the wafer market will be saturated. The costs will go down and there will be a competition about costs. And that will be challenging. This means if we add values to the manufacturing, which we are now planning, then we can be ahead with the new things. That's why things like looking into the supply chain, how to digitalize it, so we have 
full control, sharing data, and this will lead to new business models with tokenization and also sustainability impact accounting and things like that, which will happen not only for silicon carbide, but everywhere because you need to start to count every CO2 which is released. So this will happen along the chains. And if we now implement it already early in silicon carbide new manufacturing, then this is a great smart move. But to have the manufacturing, we need a skilled people. So if we already now train them, so they are available once the manufacturing is scaling up, then we are feeding in good things and being competitive. So that's one unique opportunity because India has the growth, things will happen and we'll be moving fast. In Sweden we have competence, experience and both are innovative countries. So let's join partnerships and make something new here. That's the purpose of the Swedish Sweden India platform in silicon carbide, crystal growth and manufacturing. And of course FIKA is a part of smart plants. New ideas are born when you discuss together in unexpected ways without agenda.